Hello YouTube, welcome to a new episode of Synth News, the format we summarize the Synth News from the past week. My name is Tom, the creator of this channel, and I want to thank you already for the positive feedback from the past episodes. Let's start with episode 5. On Monday we got some exciting news from Behringer. Yes again Behringer has some news for the synth lovers. The company confirmed on Monday that they plan to recreate the ARP 2600 and the Oxford synthesizer company Oscar synthesizer. Both instruments have a major role in the synth history and I think a lot of users are really interested how good and accurate Behringer will clone this synthesizer from the past. As usual for bearing announcements, the synth will be pretty sure affordable. For me personal, I see the challenge for the company in the quality and the price point. I hope a lot that these devices will not suffer on a lower sound and build quality due to the low price orientation. We will see in the future what Behringer will present us as final product. At the same day, the young company Expressive E released a great new video about the innovative Touche controller. In this new release, the creator of the company combined a great Arturia Matrix brute with this new MIDI and TV controller. This combination of this analog synth beast and this innovative controller is so impressive because it award the Matrix boot or every other synthesizer a new dimension of control and offers musicians a new way to make and perform music. I really love this new product from this young French company and it would be cool to see more devices like this. Tuesday was the big day for the sample library developer output. They released on this day their new Analog Strings library for native instruments Contact 5. Analog Strings is a sound library which contains string sounds from famous analog string synthesizers but also from classical orchestra strings. This new library is a really cool new instrument because it allows to combine different types of strings sounds together and with all the available parameters on the GUI, you can create very quick, complete new string sounds. Personally, I love such new contact devices more than just another orchestral libraries, because you can work here as sound designer in a very easy way. I'm not yet sure, but I hope that I can review this library in the near future for you. Also on Tuesday, a new iOS developer with the name Okidoke released Sequence. A new sequencer instrument with a built-in synthesizer. If you are bored by the classical sequencer instruments, I recommend you to check out Sequence because this new instrument works a bit like a musical game and it allows to make music in a new way. On the GUI you can play around with the cool animated creatures and it makes really fun. If you want to check out this app, you can make it for free. If you are already experienced with this app, you can even purchase an in-app purchase which unlock more sound and sequencer features. On top, the developer donate 10% of all profits from this in-app purchase to all community at Grey Area Foundation for Arts. An excellent new app in my eyes to check out. Further to the Wednesday, where Electron announced the official pre-order phase of the upcoming new Digitact 8 voice di digital drum computer. This new digital drum machine and sampler is now available for 769 euro from the official web store and from every music store. To be honest, until the announcement of the Digitact I was not the biggest fan of these devices. Even through Electron stuff has some awesome features, I don't love the menu diving of these devices. But the new Digitalk looks really exciting because it doesn't come with tons of sub menus and has a better workflow for me. Looking forward to see the first demo videos of the Digitag on YouTube, where I'm pretty sure that I can see if this is something for me or not. Continuing on Wednesday, where Isotonic Studios announced finally a Novation Circuit editor for VSD and AU. With this new editor, users can design and manage your sounds directly in your favorite DIY for PC and Mac. This new editor for the Novation Circuit is available now for £20 from the Isotonic Studios web store. On Thursday I released on my Synth Anatomy website a complete list of awesome free synthesizer plugins for PC and Mac. I consider it for this list only plugins which works on both platforms. I know that there are thousands of free synths for Windows available but not a lot for the Mac universe. In my list you can discover not only classical virtual analog synths, but also some more special ones. I hope you will find some new cool free plugins for your next music production. Erika Synths announced on Friday that the new DIY Polyvox Eurorack synthesizer system is now available to order. 
This new complete system tries to emulate the famous sound of the Russian Polyvox synthesizer. In its currently available sound demos on YouTube you can already hear this system. Personally I really love the sound of this machine and has a lot of charm inside. Really looking forward to play around with this machine on Superbooth this year. This week ends with news from the same company. On Saturday Behringer announced that, that they will reproduce in cooperation with the cool audio company the famous Curtis and SSM chips. If you are not so deep in this topic, these famous chips were used in the past inside best known synths like the Oberheim OB8, OBXA or also in the sequential circuits Prophet 8 or Prophet 1 synthesizer. I think I hear OBXA. On top I found that the music group company, which is the main company of Behringer, registered the trademark for the OBXA synthesizer last week. Although it's only a trademark registration, this could mean that Behringer will, will continue his clone wave with the OBXA. From a personal, the biggest news is the recreation of these famous chips and that they sell them to other companies also. This can provoke a new wave of analog synths with new concepts but with this famous Curtis chip oscillator and filter sound. The news about the clones are not bad at all, but personally, I would prefer to see complete new innovative synthesizers like a hybrid synth with analog and digital oscillators. It will be an interesting future for the synth market if the music group will build these chips with a perfect build and sound quality. On Sunday I found a new sequencer made by a Berlin based company Audiowerkstatt. The target of this new MIDI sequencer is to be an optimized instrument for jam sessions. The concept and the design looks quite cool in my eyes and could be a very portable step sequencer for many users. Also the price of 329 euro is fair in my eyes for such a little company. The company will be also at the super booth this year and I will try to shoot a video there with the developer and to check out all the features for you. For closing this episode of Synth News I will give you now my Synth Music Tip of the Week. For this episode my tip is the soundtrack of Tron Legacy by Daft Punk. For me personal this score is one of the best music soundtracks with electronic music influence and brings the quality of Daft Punk music to the orchestra scores. As usual I will put all the links in the video description. Please write me in the comments below what do you think about the Behringer news and all other news. I will be happy to read your opinion. I hope you enjoyed this new episode of Synth News. If you liked this video please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Many thanks for watching and for your continuous support. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Bye!